we got a demonstration here today. This is a 19, <clears throat> about a 1928 Model E horse and a half John Deere. They're pretty primitive how they work. There's no carburetor. Needle valve is right here, and that's how you adjust the fuel. Just a check ball on that and a choke. Igniter is just a set of points in the head. There's no spark plug, and the engine keeps the exhaust valve open, and when it's ready to fire, then the governor lets it fire. So it's pretty primitive how this works. This is the radiator tank. I've got it full of antifreeze. And as it gets hot, it'll of course uh, use some of that. I just keep it covered so it doesn't splash all over. The purpose of the demonstration again is the, the alternator here weighs about 10 pounds. It's a 35 amp, 12 volt alternator. And the engine is a horse and a half. We run this belt up here so it'll spin it fast enough, <clears throat> but this little 10 pound alternator will shut this 275 pound engine off. People have a hard time believing that that little alternator will do that, but the math is 746 watts has always taken one horsepower. And we'll show you that, how that works. So it actually should equate out to 1119 watts and that's what it'll make and we'll show you the demonstration. This is the, uh, just a 25 SI coil, and I've got it wired up. It just helps me start the engine so it starts quicker to enhance the spark. Here's our amp meter and then a rheostat to control the field of the alternator once we get it running. And we'll go ahead and hook it to this battery to charge this battery so we can see what's going on. I have it running, it's, it's hit and miss. It runs and then hits. But as we load it down, the governor will make it fire every time because it's being strained. We've got the alternator hooked up, let's watch what it does. getting pretty slow that's all she's got so it's pretty cool how that works they figured out in 1928 that it made a horse and a half and to do the math and what we just did here the alternator begins turning slower because the engine's turning slower but eventually stalls out the engine because it's just pulling more than that alternator that engine can make